Well, there is no mistaking this man, ladies and gentlemen. He is ice cold, he is Isaac Frost, and he brings power in every facet of the game. Played the role of villain well in the boxing world. Now, he segues into mixed martial arts. A lot of people think the physical attributes, the power will hold up. Figures to have to lean on the takedown defense at times. We will see how it goes for Isaac Frost here tonight. This guy is a boxer, and he will have a distinct advantage if this fight goes in boxing distance, whether it's up against the cage with dirty boxing or in the center of the octagon where he can utilize his superior accuracy. and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Los Angeles. Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's an easy push, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA! Man. And now, because he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go, well, guys. No right. better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Wham! Well, the right and the left behind it. Didn't quite connect. Both fighters are a little hesitant here. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, he got looked like it did stun him a little bit. He got hurt bad. Kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. A uh, hook to the head by Frost. How about that chin? Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Isaac Frost. 
doing an excellent job blocking here. Oh, he worked hard for it. He's now got double underhooks in the clinch. Pummels out of double underhooks here. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double underhooks now. And separate. Blocks the shot. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that right hook. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, double jab. 15 seconds remain in the oh. round. Oh. 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 What a fight so far. Oh, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it, saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Let's look at that from another camera angle. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer is in the building. His opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. That shot blocks by the oh, oh, he got hurt! Oh, he's hurt! Oh! Big shots! Woo! Woo, look at that jab. That's a big hook. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Tags him. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this one. That oh. one appeared to stun him. He got hurt very, very badly. punch for the victory. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Check out this angle here. Ba-boom! So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Ice Man. Well, love him or hate him, you gotta respect him. A big result for Isaac Frost here tonight.